routes are predetermined paths that are used by routers when sending packets from one subnet to another subnet. Each route consists of TCP IP information that is stored in a database. This database is called a routing table. So when a frame reaches a router, the packet within the frame is removed. The router uses the packet's destination IP address to determine where to route the packet. This is done by comparing the destination IP address to the information that is stored within the router's routing table. A routing table is composed of multiple routes and taking a closer look at a route shows the basic information that is needed for creating that route. First are the destination IP address and the subnet mask for a remote subnet. This is the network ID for that subnet. Second is the gateway's IP address. This is the IP address for the next router one hop away. And finally is the type of interface that will be used for sending the packet. For home routers, this will be the LAN or the WAN interface. There is another addition that can be made to a route, and that is the metric. The metric is not a requirement for creating a route, but it is used for enhancing a router's routing capabilities by placing a value on the route. This value depends on factors like the route's hop count and its bandwidth. Metric becomes useful when dealing with multiple routes to a single destination. The route with the smallest metric is always the preferred route. A few things to keep in mind about routing tables. A packet's destination IP address is first compared to every route within a routing table before it can be determined where to route the packet. A route with the destination IP address of all zeros is called a default route. This is usually the first or the last route in the routing table and is used for any destination IP address that did not match any of the other routes. For home routers, the default routes interface will be the WAN connection, which is usually connected to the internet. So in conclusion, routing tables are databases of information on predetermined routes. These routes consist of information that can be used by routers when determining where to route packets. That's all for now on routing tables. Head over to HeyMIT for more information.